There's been a lot of funny moments and disasters over the last week and last year we didn't have a chance to include in all our videos. Up first, the great flood of the Flying Eagles. So this is our RC field, or was. But I think it's just where you are. You'll notice a table has floated into the uh, runway area. The parking lot's filled with water, so might as well fly a full plane. All right, taxi now. Here we go. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. <laughs> no flying in the pits. Oh, Jesus, sorry. Butter. Go oh, Bailey! I'm sorry! Where's the world? That distracted me. <laughs> Absolutely. Why are we doing this today? I volunteered, I don't know why, to go and turn the DC battery off for a charger station that is now submerged. It's a low voltage, it's DC, I'm not gonna get electrocuted. Probably. Don't get hypoxic out there. Hypoxic? How cold is it? Like freezing? Woo! Woo! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> you know what's funny? What? It's already off. Really? Yep. It was never on. So you did that for no reason. <laughs> We also had some late nights trimming trees. Deeper! Yeah! <laughs> Dude, we gotta fly the Bushmaster back here. I know, I want to, right? <laughs> and fly the Bushmaster in my backyard, we did. Cody did a real landing, too. Whoa! Butter! Absolute oh, butter. A roof can also be a runway to a fun cup, if you know what you're doing, that is. <laughs> oh! No! We did a lot of flying in the backyard this year. Some flights were more successful than others. Go get it! You almost bitch slapped my dog! Our masculinity was tested as well. That's it. This doesn't rip. Oh, she got some pep in her step. No way. This thing flies awesome. This is for the boys. <clears throat> Breaking it in. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, it isn't a test of your masculinity. All new tail heavy products. We just dropped a full line of high quality merch that'll be rotating quarterly. If you see something you like, be sure to grab it now, because these items won't be returning once the next drop comes. Back to the vlog. We also got some planes this year you guys haven't seen, such as this massive flying highlighter. We just got finished, just about done assembling this T-28, and I looked at this and I said, what the goddamn f horizon? This is 2023, almost 2024, and we're still doing this? Since moving to New England, I've really learned about why there's so much disagreement in this country over so many things, including Starbucks is better than Dunkin', sorry guys. All right, old bud, give me the backstory on this old boy. Oh man. Well, we've always loved these C-28s, especially the OG that Ben decided to make tail wheel. We got a friendly guy named 
John from Texas had reached out to us and uh, literally offered to send this to us to make a review on, do some shenanigans with, and then we'll send it back to him with a sticker slot on the side. So thank you, John, and let's get it going. Got her all set up, huh? No. Why? I don't know what's going on with the elevator, but not centered where we centered it, and it's acting like safety gone right now, so. So what do you think, old bud? Uh, go buy one. The uh, affiliate link is in the description. No. Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> Alrighty! No, because. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you filming? Did I give you authorization to film it? I got your consent on a different occasion. <laughs> that was on a video. Okay. Okay, what? What? This what do you want? Servo warm up procedure. <laughs> Wait. On, Just for girls. Oh! <laughs> All right, it's fun, but it's f***ing cold. Yeah. I'm leaving. Oh wait, 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 wait. We have gifts. Gifts? Oh no. Oh, not gifts. <laughs> we also captured this jet that just wouldn't give up. Tree. 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 He saved it. Tree. He saved it. Tree. He saved it. Tree. <laughs> Tree. Like he's got it, but I have a feeling he's gonna go around. Oh. Some of you asked about the Telemaster I was flying in recent videos, so here's the backstory to it. I posted a wanted ad a while back on RC groups looking for a Telemaster kit or ARF, and a nice gentleman in Connecticut hit me up. So, naturally, we chose to fly a giant toy plane to pick up a small toy plane. The issue was, the small toy plane barely fit inside the big toy plane. That's what she said! <laughs> it worked. Moving on. Cody was kind enough to help me with the build, and we had a lot of fun interpreting the mid-2000s era ARF quality manuals for directions along the way. There were definitely some modifications made to allow the setup we went with to work in this ARF, but it all worked out in the end. Cody even got to rep his one-of-a-kind sunglasses safety goggles. I'll explain all about the electronics I went with shortly, but first, here's the maiden day. After a couple days of flying this thing with rubber bands, I was, well, done with rubber bands. Thankfully, our friend Vinny, the gentleman who assembled my top flight P-47, was available and willing to modify the Telemaster to have wing screws instead of rubber bands, and he even fixed some damage to the wingtips that the prior owner claimed was caused by him leaving it in his attic for over 15 years. Thanks, Vinny. Now, onto the flying field for more info on the setup and to test out Vinny's work. Well, uh... It's a 95, although now 95 and a half inch, uh, senior telemaster, old school Hobby Lobby. Got a T-Motor AM600 combo in there with a 3D printed motor mount next to Cody. And 6S5000, you can hear the uh, ESC's cooling fan spinning in there. And a nice rare earth magnet for the canopy. Servos, we went all out with high voltage. And I've got the... Uh, high-tech D645 MWs in there. Uh, no bush tires yet, maybe soon. This thing really is incredibly fun to fly. It scratches our itches for a plane that can fly low and slow, can hover, and is a great stick and rudder practice aircraft too. This summer, we'll also use it for glider toes. Oh, and maybe throw on some bigger tires as well. So 
this is very much a mudgy thing. Shout out to Brian who like showed us this fun like stick and rudder practice, but literally just have the tail up, a little bit of forward pressure when needed, keep the mains planted and on the rudder doing figure eights with the tail up. It'll really increase your uh, confidence when just anything with tail wheel on the runway. All right, it's time to cut some grass, folks. This is another plane we've had a lot of questions about, most of which are simply, why? But either way, this was a project of Ben's that was born when he got a 3D printer. We had some spare electronics from another Timber Evo that broke its motor mount, so he slapped it all together and made the timber stick. Our Discord then mashed the two words together and called it the Tick, which felt fitting given its New England roots. The Maiden was a disaster. Why are you terrified? I spent way too long on this. You spent too long or the 3D printer? Give him this a shot, boys. Should I wait for a good gas? No, just go, it's calm. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Whoa, that was not what I wanted to happen. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Rick? <laughs> My ailerons are reversed. Well, that'll that's do it. Why. Oh. <laughs> that's what happened. Yeah. Come on. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> that is, that is wow is right. Despite being 3D printed and hacked together, it weighs four ounces less than a Timber Evo, but flies significantly slower. It's awesome watching the 15 plus degree angle of attack in flight without showing signs of dropping out from under you. Feel free to argue in the comments below on why this is. Show me the wind tunnel data. As we mentioned earlier in the video, we're excited to announce some great new merch to share with everyone, as well as a brand new Tail Heavy RC logo too. Don't forget to also grab our 2024 Tail Heavy calendar that is loaded with some great shots taken by some of the friendly folks in our Discord. The 2024 photo contest picks up the first week of January, so if you want the chance to be featured in the 2025 calendar, stay tuned for that. The link to our new merch is pinned to the comment section and in the video description. And with that, we'd like to wish everyone a happy holiday, Merry Chrysler, or whatever it is you celebrate. This past year has been a blast, and none of it would have been possible without everyone's support. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you think we should take the Bushmaster to an indoor flying site, or hit subscribe if you're interested in seeing what else we can cook up for 2024. As always, happy landings, bounce one on for us, and we'll catch you next year with a new upload. Woo! Nice! Goddamn! That was sick!